Ovine Automation is an R&D group which was set up to develop automation opportunities for sheep slaughter. It's now trialled two robots on the sheep chain at Alliance's plant in Southland. The work is supported by nine industry shareholders, the Ministry of Science and Innovation and Mirrens Inc, jointly owned by the Meat Industry Association and Beef and Lamb New Zealand. Open Automation Limited is a consortia between nine industry meat companies and the Ministry of Science and Innovation. Its purpose was or is to develop um, robotic technology automation for the um, New Zealand meat industry um, and specifically for the shareholders, the nine sh industry shareholders. When Ovine Automation Limited was originally received, one of the prerequisites was that it had to be a step change in the technology. It had to be something that no individual meat company would have taken on by themselves in terms of the level of risk and the financial commitment required for them to do that. There's a number of major reasons why um, the meat companies felt that they needed to do this research. Obviously labour plays an important part in our industry. Labour is becoming difficult to attract, uh, both in terms of quality and quantity. A lot of the jobs that we're targeting are heavy lifting jobs, high incidence of injury and so forth, so the companies are very keen to address that and um, ensure that the OSH and compliance levels are there. And improvement of quality, pelt removal, improvement of pelt quality, also improvement of compliance and general hygienic standards. Ovine, when it was conceived, we were able to bring in two R&D partners in IRL, Industrial Research Limiters and Milmec. And one of the big strengths that OAL has is its ability to unlock the institutional knowledge that exists within our industry. So we've got lots of institutional knowledge and we've been able to take that institutional knowledge and line it up with our R&D providers. Um, whereas in the past, I think a lot of the R&D had been around um, individual R&D companies thinking that they were doing what the industry wanted, um, whereas in fact they perhaps weren't. We've had a long history with the meat industry and in particularly with Alliance providing slaughter floor systems for many of their plants. Most of the Alliance slaughter floors and, and in particular at Matara here we have quite a amount of technology in terms of pelt pulling machines, uh, final pullers, hide pullers um, and we also provide the complete conveying systems from start to finish to enable the processing. The two robots have been developed to automate some key tasks on the chain, the brisket cutting and the evisceration of the carcasses. Both of those jobs require a number of people to do that and have hygiene aspects around them and the robots have been developed to automate that process. The trick is getting the machines to adapt to the varying carcass sizes and carcass conformation which requires a lot of development to get them successful understanding the variability within the carcass and the key to that is having significant involvement from the processes, particularly the sort of for operations guys who help us understand as we develop the machines uh, where we're going wrong in terms of addressing all those variability issues. The bit of kit that we've got out here is actually not new, it was actually designed some 25 years ago. But now with the onset of robotics and flash sensors, etc., has made it more viable to put it in a processing plant. The reason that we put our hands up for here, we're struggling for, um, to, to man the chain in some areas. Um, the workforce here is reasonably good. They've got a pretty much a can-do attitude. And when we put our hand up for this type of automation, they were all right behind it, so it was good. With the removing of the visera set out here, it was a reasonably labour-intensive job where we had a number of injuries in that area and now with the robotics uh, doing the job it's reduced the injuries considerably. Basically removed five slaughter positions from the chain but we had to replace a couple of labour units to do the separation of the visitor set once it was in the pan. We're also looking at further automation where um, on plant at the moment we're doing a automatic Y cutting and sock rolling to do the whole um, front lead up work of the Y cut is going to be looked at being automated as well. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.